The scrap dead, man. Cops found him in some broke down building up on Rockaway Boulevard. He killed himself. I thought you knew all this. Get the fuck out of here, man. What are you talking about? I wouldn't do no shit like that. That's not even possible. Okay. Scrappy gone. In my last video, I stated that Raquel shot Scrap at the right side of his head to make it look like a suicide so that the police would not think it was a murder. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll leave the link in the description below for you to check out. Now that everyone is spreading the suicide news about Scrappy, it will take another event to create doubt about Scrappy's death. That doubt, I believe, can come from Kanan. In the same video, I stated that Janique will rob Raquel's money that she has been hiding at Juliana's shop and that also happened. I only didn't expect Unique to give the money back though, but that's just by the way. I believe you consider it as a good prediction I made there. Now that's not all. I mentioned that if Kanan find out the truth about Howard, his mother will still lie to him. And like always, Raquel's lies to Kanan is getting more and more. And finally, I did mention that Howard was going to use his memory loss thing to play both Kanan and Raquel together with the police department to his advantage. And I also said he was going to use that to win Kanan and protect him from getting arrested for the shooting. What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I'll be talking about key things that happened in episode 3 of Raising Kanan. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new. Like, share, and leave your comments below. If you've already subscribed, thanks for the support. Now let's get straight into business. As much as I expected and predicted, Howard made his move to tell Kanan that he is his father. I guess Kanan's reaction to the news was funny to you as well. <laughs> <laughs> Shit crazy, right? <laughs> it made me laugh too. I personally didn't expect any other reaction from Kanan about this. Now, the danger in all this is that Howard will keep pushing this paternal agenda with Kanan until Kanan starts disbelieving anything his mother will say to him again. And I know it won't be easy for Howard to convince Kanan all alone. It will take Raquel's constant lies to Kanan to realize the truth. Now, the only person who can prove to Kanan that Howard is his father is Defcon. Now, we really didn't know what happened to Defcon. Kanan believed Defcon is dead. But looking at how Raquel constantly lies to Kanan, I'm beginning to doubt if Defcon is really dead. Now, what will make a mother lie to her son that his supposed father is dead? Probably the father is inside for life and there is no way any miracle or presidential pardon can bring him out. So for the son's sanity, such a mother would rather lie to the child that his father is dead than let him live with the trauma of having his father behind bars. Now, this is what I think Howard will likely do in his quest to bring Kanan to his side. If Def Khan happens to be alive and inside, Howard is a cop and he will be privileged to some information on which prison he is serving. So if Kanan still thinks Howard is out of his mind with this fatherhood thing, the best card Howard can play is to point Kanan towards Def Khan's direction to meet him, talk to him and confirm from him if indeed he is his father or not. Now, this will make Kanan stop believing his mother for the rest of his life. Not only that, but Kanan will even doubt all the things his mother ever told him, from Dewey's death to Scrappy's suicide. Now, how else can Howard use Kanan against her? Now, you remember it was Howard who told Raquel that Scrap was a snitch, right? I don't think Howard openly told her to go and kill him, isn't it? Now, Howard can tell Kanan that he was the one who informed Raquel that Scrap was a snitch and the following day, Scrap was found dead, hence Kanan should do the math. And as much as Rack thinks Howard genuinely told her about Scrap, at the same time, it was a trap he set for her and this is how best Howard will benefit from the information he gave her. Now, if Howard goes through all these things that I've just said, he'll be very close to having Kanan on his side. Now, don't forget, Kanan is very easy to switch emotions and like someone. Just like in the beginning, he never liked Symphony and later became cool with him. So, in as much as his mother painted some picture in his head against Howard, if Howard gives Kanan the best reason to trust him, I guess his attitude will change towards Howard. Now, this might sound like a win for Howard, but Raquel is not going to make him win and take the trophy away just like that. By saying trophy, I mean Kanan. Raquel will not give up her only son just like that. 
In my last video, I stated that Raquel will possibly kill Howard herself if he tries to turn her son against her. Now, this will be the time Raquel will have no option than to wipe out Howard. If you pay close attention to her statement to Kenan here, That's part of the reason why I asked you to do what you did. Howard, he's always been unstable and unpredictable and shit. I never know what wildness he gonna say or do. And if he get any stupider, I'm gonna get in the middle of it. And if he get any stupider, I'm gonna get in the middle of it. That should tell you that Raquel would definitely find a way to shut Howard out of her life and that of Kanan. Let me know what you also think so far in the comment section about episode 3 of Raising Kanan. Now, moving forward, Crown has made a huge mistake by coming to Raquel to help him kick Lou out of the music thing. Why do I say so? Let's look at what Crown first did to Lou. He slept with his girl. After that, he found job for her to leave town. Now he has come to his sister to kick him out of his dream. I believe Raquel when she said she was not going to tell Lou he was at the house to even have such conversation with her. But the only way Lou will find out is through Famous. Crown promising Famous about putting him on can give Lou a clue. Now just imagine Lou in the studio alone working on something and Famous pass through to see how far with Crown's promise only for him to meet Lou in the studio. Now Famous won't waste a minute to say Crown promised him the last time he came to Kenan's house. Now, this flip from Famous will get Lou curious to find out why Crown was at his sister's place. And if Lou moves to Crown, definitely he will think Raquel told Lou something. If Crown is not smart enough to store what comes out of his mouth next, he will end up committing himself to Lou. That is where the problem will come from and I strongly believe Lou might take Crown out. So let me know what you think about this Crown and Lou situation in the comment section. Now, from my observation, some love will brew between Marvin and this lady here. I don't know what you think about it, but let me know what you also think in the comment section if you feel there's something that could happen between Marvin and this lady. Now, I'm going to talk about Jukebox and her expedition to locate and ID her mother. Every girl in her position will want some closure with their mother and why she left her behind. Not only that, but why she also clearly stated in her profile that she doesn't have any children. Even me myself, I would like to know the story behind her disowning her own child. Unless of course she was made to believe that Jukebox died long time ago. Apart from that, I'm very interested in her reasons to say she has been married twice but no children, yet she is the choir leader in her church. Now moving on, these drugs that Kanan and Famous are selling like this will get them in trouble very soon with these cops. Why? Because the way they are breaking the cassette cases and leaving them on the street will start attracting the police attention very soon. Because if these young kids claim that they are selling mistips and yet people are buying and then breaking the cases there and there, then it means there is more to their mistip. And the next time they see them, they might arrest them. Now, if Kanan doesn't want his mother to know he was arrested for selling drugs, he will need Howard to come to his rescue and Howard will score points with Kanan again. Let me know what you think so far by leaving your thoughts and comments and theories below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, share, like and most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. I'll see you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.